set for baseball under the lights just outside of Atlanta. Lewis Park. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Flying Squirrels of Richmond. Gentlemen, please welcome your Flying Squirrels. Sean Jelly, a native of Minnesota, gets the starting nod. Dan Pleszak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. That brings up Xavier Edwards. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2-1 is offered at and missed he chased it for strike two temperature was in the 70s earlier today but 59 at game time tonight the 2 2 doesn't get the zone count full now well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit easy fly ball into shallow center field Comes on now, and he has it one down. That accepted. The center fielder, Michael Gigliotti. Up next, Michael Gigliotti. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Good slider there. Gets a swing and one miss. Ball, that was a great hack. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad back barrel Ball. at count even at two and two. One out, nobody on. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking that slider that time. Yeah, right that here. was really well executed, Ryan. Matt. A classic Ball. strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Ryan Bolt. Bolt and down. it's up to a 3-2-4 now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3-1, and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. You know, all the pitchers I talked to throughout the course of my career, they always said they want this. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Brent Honeywell, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. And now here is Will Wilson. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he ball. takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two ball, one strike. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pit. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated that fastball. Second. Every no, hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something Elliot. with that, but... Most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. To the plate now, Ramos. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle that of the order good. up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. At the plate now, Marco Luciano. 
Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in time and the side is retired. We'll move on to the second now at Truist Park with no score. Second inning set to go and set to go is the second baseman Miles Mastroboni. Swing and a miss on the fastball and it's one and two. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little ball. under that one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Lifted into center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. That is good. The first baseman, number 19, Dalton Kelly. Next, here is Dalton Kelly. Good That's idea that. with the change, but it's two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Sitting on one right here. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Fastball well outside. Blake Hunt waits on deck. The 3 1. Right side, but it's well foul. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now. Blake Hunt. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's that favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, calling balls and strikes is a really Shoot tough it. job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box, Austin Shinton, a bouncer up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. At the plate, John Diaz. To two and two now. Two ball, two strikes. Flair out to left center. Luciano calls for it. And that's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring in Hunter Bishop. Swing and a line drive. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the good. first out. Good, good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now to bat, Patrick Bailey, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bottom of the second here with no score. Popped up. Shenton is there. Two down. Batting two. Striding forward now really. is the DH. Holy. Luis Toribio will try to make something Toribio. happen with two gone in the second. Now the three and two pitch. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Top of the third set to get underway. And digging in is the outfielder, Nico Holsizer. Ball. So a full count now. Full count. I love Keep everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. Ball, ball. He's got Inside. fastball command and a nice early feel for his stuff. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. It, it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. So next to bat will be Xavier Edwards. He flied out leading off the ball game. Paul Sizer aboard here at first with nobody out. center and that's in there base hit and now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning now that I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats in now Michael Gigliotti and this is popped up near second base. Wilson is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Now that the right so now here is Ryan Bolt looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Third inning no score to this point. Turned on but it's wide at first and foul. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And a full four. count as that three misses. Two. It's three and two now. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You can work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases. But that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Now the three and two pitch. And that one got a piece of him. As a manager, you never really want to put a man on by a hit by pitch, but you absolutely hate to have it happen when it loads the bases. Now the pitcher is looking a little shaky, and the threat of a big inning is very real. To the plate now, Miles Mastroboni. No. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Bases are loaded with only one out. Grounder down the line at third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. He's sick. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Stepping in now, Dalton Kelly. One a ball and two strikes. Two that's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the yeah. fastball by him. And here is strike three called on the fastball. Looked to be about eye level, but it's out number two instead. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Standing in now, Blake Hunt. Ball. Outside, two and one. Two, one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Bases are loaded here, two down. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. 
two and two. The pitch swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bishop is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. So one run on two hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Biscuits lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Jason Krizan. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Three and two now. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's the first out. Batting it. Digging in will be Jacob Gonzalez. Gonzalez. A 1 1. It's a fastball no, that misses. 2 1. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Paul Sizer comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number two. Now at the plate, here is Luis Matos. His guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. 2-2 is taken ball three well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here he's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with and he takes ball four so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy but at least they have a base runner here we'll see if that leads to something Wilson now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Will Wilson struck out in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime Woo! it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch Play ABs, ball, ball, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Here's the one and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder giving chase. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Way to battle right there. Hey, guys, that wasn't a bad pitch. And executed off the plate. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offensive player right there. Stayed inside the baseball and was able to get him out. So now to the plate, Elliot Ramos. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. The 2-2 pitch. Down and he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Matos at second. Wilson at first. Two out in the inning. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Back to Truist Park following this. Now to the plate, Austin Shinton singled in his last at bat. So 
something has to give the payoff pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The next 3-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. At the plate, John Diaz. And now a ball hit pretty well down that right field line. This has some carry to it, and it is gone. Home run. A solo shot down the line in right as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Hey, that wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. In now, Nico Holsizer. No Four. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Won't commit that on the full. slider. Oh, Good patience, and it's full three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Too close for comfort, and he did a job just to make contact. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Popped him up. Gonzalez has room in foul territory. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, Skipper out of the dugout, Four making the slow trek to the mound. Edward. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Your Highway Tang answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the So now to the plate, Xavier Edwards, a fly out and a single for him so far. A 1 1. Strike two swinging. One, two. This is hit softly to third. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and Montgomery's out in front here, two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and stepping up as the shortstop, Marco Luciano. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early count moves to a ball and two strikes now here comes the one two little chopper back to the mound one away Out. Now Let's do it. that's going to bring up Hunter Bishop, Bishop. him off a bit with a fastball in but it's three and one now a three one count tying run on deck 
good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Next, it'll be Patrick Bailey. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. There's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Ball. And there's ball three on a three breaking ball, ball that misses away. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. The 3-2 one more time. Runner at second here with one man out. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Louis Garibio. Now at the plate, Luis Toribio. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 1 takes a pass and misses. That's Playing strike ball. two. One ball. Two really strike. tied him up on that one. Yikes. He kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. Now it'll be Michael Gigliotti. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Left side, but well fouled. The 1 2. Oh, now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Ramos is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batting. So the next to bat will be Brian Bolt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll turn to the slider here and it just misses 2 and 1 now. Well that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch it's unhittable. And he'll just put it in his pocket. It's an infield single. The batter number two, second baseman, Miles Mastodono. Into the box now, Miles Mastroboni. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Holt, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Throw over to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. 
throw gets him. Two down. He's out. And stepping in, Dalton Kelly. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Two and one. Four. Looks for the fastball inside, so he's in the driver's three, seat. Three and one. all the way here That's it comes up, and he misses ball four now batting catcher Blake Hunt next it'll be Blake Hunt and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth a 1-1 home Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Go. Two down runners at first and second. Outside and a full count, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And he ball misses four, again. Outside. Ball Take four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. At the plate now, Austin Shinton. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, without question, he got him leaning out over right there. Four pitches away, I'd be diving out over the plate as well. And then he dominates him on the inside corner. Nice pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. Two and two. Here it is. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. Back to Truist Park following this. Late now is Jason Krizan. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to 2 and 2 now. Full okay. count. 3 and 2. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Fouled off. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Pulsizer comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now batting. Third Stepping in next, Jacob Take Gonzalez. Down. He's 0 for 1 Good. thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The right fielder, number one. So now into the box is Luis Matos. He 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Three and one pitch. Yeah. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. underway and striding forward the designated hitter John Diaz goes to show you how strong this guy is that wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it lasted bad that ball was down in a way he went out and hooked, pulled it this guy's definitely a good hitter right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now off the outside that time laid off for a ball the 2 2 here's a swing and oh man Way out of here. A solo shot down the line in right. His second home run of the game as it's now a 3-0 ball game. That one is definitely worth looking at again with our show track technology. It had plenty of distance to get out of the park, and you can see why when it's hit at 115 miles an hour, that's not something you see every day. To the plate now, Nico Holsizer. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. him up. Grizan has a play and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The Digging in the switch hitter Xavier Edwards. Xavier one run Edwards. in and one gun so far this inning. The three one. That's lifted the other way out to left and he will make the play out there and there are two away now. And now in the box, Michael Gigliotti. He flew out in his last A.B. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider off on the inside as it just misses the zone. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Set and the payoff pitch, and he fouls this one off. This is pulled into right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Now back, right here. One, two. Standing in now, Ryan Bolt. Ah! And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Yeah. 
now on a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Gigliotti, the runner at first with two gone. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. And he full lays count. off, three so balls. it's full down three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. No, Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Sends on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, out. gets him, and the side is retired. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Bottom of the sixth coming up. The Biscuits lead it three to nothing. <laughs> Leading off the inning, it'll be Will Wilson as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. on the outside corner one and two uh, you can tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now to break out that nasty hammer right there this guy's on point swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first out he's been in total control out there tonight gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there and it just seems like we've seen so many off balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one Into the box, Elliot Ramos. Two. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Got him. And that's the third. You've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road. But to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Whoa. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Two pitches fouled away. And this will miss down low in the third, so he's working full now at three and two. Lifted down the line and left. And foul. Looking to set side on strikes. Here it comes. Popped him up. Hunt over to his right. And he makes the catch to retire the side. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Seventh inning coming up. And Montgomery's out in front here. Three to nothing. Kyle Harrison is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 35, Kyle Harrison. So here's the cleanup hitter, Miles Mastroboni. He'll start the seventh in what's been a fast moving pitcher's duel to date. To two and two now. Playing two balls, two strikes. first and the throw will be 
too late as he can't recover in time. The pink face is number 19. Dalton Kelly. In now, Dalton Kelly. Fouled away. Ball. Well off the plate with the change of pace. Playing That's two. ball two. two. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Boy, D. Rowe, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back to back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want. Today's day and age of bullpen down your throat. You very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Master Boney on second. Kelly on at first with nobody out. This is in the air out to right field. Matos is there, and he'll bring this one in. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Next to hit, Austin Shinton is working on a one for three thus far. Working for the punch out and the offering. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. A reach and he makes a lunging catch as he winds up on his belly. And there's a fine play for the second out. Hey, every player likes that score for him. But particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight. And he gets another insurance run on top of it. John Diaz stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. Here now the two is looked at and the count moves full. Balls, no pitcher strikes, likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. In there, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. Yeah, that hard hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. So now to the plate, Nico Holsizer lifted in the air to straightaway center. Ramos finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Biscuits lead it four to nothing. Colin Poche gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 38. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in Hunter Bishop. Now the 2 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first now down. Batting. Catcher, Patrick. So here is Patrick Bailey. Bailey. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. And it's fouled away.
ready with the one and two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Fastball no. well outside. Here's Tough two. to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. The two two. Full count. These are the kind of A.B.'s, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Swing and a liner. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A payoff pitch one more time. There's ball four. Blake now is the designated hitter. Luis Toribio, 0 for 2 for him to this point. A little behind on that swing, and now they'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Here comes the 1 2. Is looked ball. at for ball number two. Bailey leads off first with one away. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Edwards takes charge out there and he stays with it for this. Now that ready now the is Jason Krizan. It G was a fly out for him in his last Cruzan. trip. Pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. The two two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Ready with the two and two. Oh, yeah. a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Jacob Gonzalez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Now batting the third baseman. Now to the plate, here is Jacob Gonzalez. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Three two pitch. Fouled off. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. This is on the ground over the first. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. And Montgomery's out in front here, four to nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. And striding into the box next is Xavier Edwards. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to now do is it. get on base and take field. advantage of the Michael strength of his game, which Gigliotti. is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Now 
at the plate, Michael Gigliotti. This is flared out towards second. Throw just does get it at first as he was really moving that time. Great stop right there. He had to make a perfect play after that nice backhand stop. And he did exactly that. He couldn't have transferred that ball from his glove to his hand and released the throw any better. To the plate now, Ryan Bolt. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. In the second with a two-out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving two. one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Carlos Sano enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Carlos Into the box now, Miles Mastroboni. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. And a good fastball swung on him, missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Two out double, left stranded. Back following this. Head is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Luis Matos. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. And ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Slow roller out to short. Right to him. First down. Now so stepping in is Will Wilson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Gigliotti is there. Two gone. That'll bring up Elliot. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Two out, nobody on. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's three and two. This is on the ground over to first. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We've played eight full. The Biscuits lead it four to nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here comes the first baseman, Dalton Kelly. Into the one up. Here's the two and one pitch. No. Now this one is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch. That's too good to pass up. The three one. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. 
the hitter was dug in now looking for something to hit, the but catcher. he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that huh. thing way out of the zone. Striding in is Blake Hunt, flew out last time up. Kelly on at first, nobody out. Yeah, that's taken for a called strike two. Play 12, one two the count. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the El Combio. Listen, if you can now keep that, that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Into the box, Austin Shinton pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now that Next up is John. Already a pair of long yeah. balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Two out with the man at first. Yank just foul. Here comes the one two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that is off the wall. Kelly rounds third and is digging for the plate. Is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Tried to score all the way from first, but the relay was too good, and it ends the inning. Back to Truist Park following this. Now, Marco Luciano. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these now guys in this one. Left the field. bullpen has looked sharp Left and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Standing in now, Hunter Bishop. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Pops him up toward the left side of the 